Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple All stripes. Right, so, this video really just gonna be a, a brainstorm. So many things happening in the Ravens organization. Us fans, do they think us fans are stupid? Do they think we are stupid? Because I've seen the smart Ravens flock fans, I would say. Because we, we know there's some special ones. You know, you got them family members. Where you be like, hey. Like our mama and dad, you tell, hey. Hey, you know your cousin. A little, you know what I'm saying? He a little, he a little out there. Don't, don't, don't be hanging around that dude. Don't be hanging around him too much now. I don't want to see your name out there. But yeah, so that, that that's how we got with the Ravens plot. Hey, you see them, them people that be talking crazy? Mm -mm, don't, don't, don't entertain them. Don't reply to them. Don't come in. Just look at him like, mm, God bless you, child. And continue on. Just continue on. And the Ravens organization I see so many people bring up hard as myself Greg Roman obviously EDC obviously but my frustration my top top number one frustration is not with any of them yeah, the great Roman does stupid things. Like the quote he said about the, you know, the play clock management and stuff like that. That that was just special. Harbs said a um, quote, something like, uh, well, I do things the easy way. You know, I like to do the things challenging way or something like that. It was, it was something stupid. It was something stupid. EDC, his draft picks, his number one best pick, in my opinion, is Hollywood. And he let him go because Hollywood has an ego. And Hogs don't like players with ego. They don't, he don't like players with voices. To stand up for yourself, to stand up for what they believe in, have courage. Harv doesn't like that. Harv doesn't like that. There's a story Ed Reed once said um, when Harv's walked in, he started trying to bark orders. And Ed and Ray was like, Whoa, whoa, we don't do that here. We, we, we don't do that here. And he had to. Put Harbs in line. So, as Ed, Suggs, Ray, we know they was the leader of the team. We all know this. As they left, Harbs continued to go down. I know people. Yo, he's a championship coach. He's uh, won the Super Bowl. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. Yes, he's done all of that. He had three Hall of Famers on the team. Yeah, really four. Really four. Four, four Hall of Famers. Because Ray, Hall of Fame. Ed, Hall of Fame. Suggs is going to be in the Hall of Fame. Yonda is going to be in the Hall of Fame. And we all know Lamar saved this job. And Steve Bishotti. I know he sees all of this. Hobbs don't fire nobody. I understand they say he's a player's coach. Look at this. They get along. Yeah, videos can easily show that. Videos can easily show, hey, yeah, we're going along. That video is what? Five minutes? 
three minutes. Everybody can put on a fake smile for a certain amount of time. Until they, until the people push a button, like the Lamar tweet. I know a lot of people had problems with that Lamar tweet. Me personally, I didn't see no problem with it. They say, "Is that a character? Is it?" Because I put myself in that predicament. You keep coming at me constantly, and I just lost a game. And it's like, mmm. I'm a snap. I'm a snap. I'm I'm, I'm gonna let you have it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you EAD. That's what Lamar said. <laughs> and that's the thing, you know. The hood. I've been I've been hearing that since. Ooh, shoot, nineties. I'm sure I'm my age. So yeah, I've been hearing that since shoot in kindergarten. That was like in the 90. And Tupac was still alive. Mm, mm, mm. The NWA was just coming out. But, so, for that Lamar thing, I'm, I'm like, okay. And then you sit there with the, the Harbs. Harbs not wanting to let go of Greg Roman. Even when he said in press conference that, you know, the rumors and everything like that is true. He looked like he was disappointed. Like, no, I don't want him to go. And it's like, not, it's like I said in my short that are they, are they coaching for as the players in their best interest and helping the team win? Or are they coaching as my ego and my ego is going to help this team win because we know we know the offense is not for Lamar the offense is for Harv's ego Greg Roman's ego the offense has been there before even Lamar entered in the NFL And Harvest has always been like that. And that's one thing I don't understand why Steve Bashotti has not just like, you know what? Forget this. You're gone, dude. Like, tell EDC, hey, replace him. Trade him. Or you're gone, too. Because Brian Flores is a great coach. Sean Payton, heck. That's a great coach. That's a player's coach. They say Hobbs is a player's coach. Brian Flores, Ravens is a defense organization. Have a defensive-minded coach. You know he's going to get someone great with Lamar. Sean Payton, offensive-minded. You know it's going to be awesome with Lamar. Harbs, special teams. And I sit there and think, like when he said um, in a press conference or something like that, um, Ojabo, you know, he's not special, nothing special and everything. But ta you shouldn't be coming off that type of injury and – doing special teams right away because special teams is in my opinion very very chaotic I believe Harbaugh did that with Jimmy Smith first round cornerback first play of his career injured special teams I think I think I think that happened. If I'm not correct, I know he did get injured on special teams, and I believe it was the first play of the game, the first play of his NFL career. Hard put that man out there, a first rounder on special teams. Mm. The same person that did not want. 
to put Lamar out there as Joe Flacco continues stunk up the stunk up the ball. And I like Joe, but yeah. Steve Bishotti continue to let this happen. I believe we didn't get George Pickens, a very, very talented young man. Because of Harps. Because he is a Marcus Peters on offense. He's like, I don't I don't like that character. Ben Cleveland, Eric DaCosta picked him because of Harbs. And that's where Eric DaCosta, in my opinion, he goes down because he picked so many people that his buddy wants instead of what the team really wants. We need that dog mentality. I could be wrong, but this is just my opinion. But yeah, be mad at Steve Bishotti. He's letting this happen. Will it continue to happen in the off season? We will see. It's still a little time, just a little, little, little time to still correct some things. But there's no excuse for a once in generational talent as Lamar, a LeBron, Kobe. MJ type of player in the NFL at the main position that's very important to a team. And we get no love from him. We're not showing him any love. The Ravens front office is not showing Lamar any love. This offseason, they can correct that. They can go out there and give him his money. Try to get some, give him a playmaking wide receiver, not somebody that's old. Try to make some trades happen or something. So, let's see. I highly doubt it happens, but we shall see. So, you tell me you all what you all think. Is it Steve Bashotti? We should all be really looking at because he's the head honcho. He's still giving Harbs the green light. He's still giving Eric DaCosta the green light to not fire Harbs. And I know people play, oh, he done did this accolade. He done did this accolade. He done did this. You know who else also went to the championship and won it? Trent Differ. Would you sit there and if Trent Differ was young, would you give that up? Would you give that up? Look how they did Joe Flacco. The best wide receivers Joe Flacco has had was Derek Mason, in my opinion. Derek Mason. Anquan Bowden. Torrey Smith. That's not really all I can think of. I will say Steve Smith Sr., but nothing really popped out. He did his thing, but nothing really popped off like that. But like how they did with Mason and Quan Tory Smith. But Mason, you know, he was up there in age, okay? And Quan. This was when Ozzy was in the order. But some people seem to forget. Cause they saw, I, I've seen some people say, like I was saying, them special family members. Of the Ravens flock. Some people say, let's get Ozzy back. Let's um get Ozzy back. Ozzy let Anquan Bowden go right after he pretty much single handedly dominated a lot of cornerbacks and saved Joe Flacco with a lot of catches. <laughs> he let Tory Smith go. One of his best wide receivers he's picked in the second round. I don't want to pay him. Let him go. And that's a trend where I was hoping Eric DaCosta would see. 
and be like, you know what? I'm not going to go that route. I'm not going to go that route. I'm going to flip this. Because when Ozzy was the head honcho, it was a defensive league. Now, it's an offensive league. So let me make this Ravens offense very good for Lamar Jackson. Let me give him that protection. Let me give him something <clears throat> something the Ravens has never had throughout their entire existence. That dude at wide receiver. Young. Young. But, hey, let's see. Let's see. That's why I named this video Brainstorming Let's Just Talk. Because so just so much the Ravens are doing. Just you can go everywhere with it. Cause they're special. They're special. But thank you all for viewing. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.